Hello YouTube. Um, I wanted to make a video because, like, I know I've been taking time to myself this weekend and stuff, but, um, something that's been on my mind a lot are things that I want other people, other disabled people to know. Uh, okay, and so, um, I've been making a list in my phone, so I'm gonna use it as notes, um, to keep coming back and forth. But anyway, okay, so things I want disabled people to know. One, you are not your body. These are in no particular order, by the way. But you are not your body. So, like, none of us rolled out, uh, uh, like, of our mothers in a wheelchair. Um, but that also means that we transfer onto other things. But that means that you can't, you can't let the stuff about your body that you can't control define you. Um, I can't control my legs. They push me around all the time. I call them my mean girls. You know, they're, they're, I'm trying to get along with my mean girls, but they're still mean. Um, and, but I am not them. I'm not my body parts. That don't work. Like, just because maybe your eyes don't work or maybe, um, you don't have an arm or something. I mean, you are not your body. Um, and so I want, I don't know, I, I think that girls especially put a whole lot of, um, we define ourselves as our body a lot of times, and I mean guys do it too, and um, it just please, I hope you recognize that you aren't your body, you aren't the parts of yourself that, um, that don't work or that you know, are disfigured or whatever, like, you're not your body. Um, okay, the accessories are awesome. Okay, <laughs> my wheelchair, I call this my biggest accessory. I mean, it is, my wheelchair is my robot. It, um, it's a robot that takes me everywhere I need to go. It lifts me up. It, you know, it can carry a whole shopping cart full of groceries home. Um, even if you have a cane or a walker, take advantage of the, the, um, equipment that you do have. Accessories are okay. There's nothing wrong. Like, when I was still walking, then I had a really hard mental hurdle, um, trying to accept the fact that, oh, you know, I pushed so hard to keep walking. And, um, walking is overrated. <laughs> um, and like accessories having an accessory is really cool like i can go faster than most people can when they're just at a regular walk i can um get i can bring in the groceries home i can i have a purse with me all the time i have like so many things um but even even with walker i got walker bags um with canes like you can use those um you can, any kind of mobility aid, that's what it's there for. It's there to aid you. It's there to help you. And if you let it do that, it really will. And it's going to free you up. It's not just, it's not like getting in a wheel. I hate it when people say, I'm confined to a wheelchair, or you're going to be confined to a wheelchair. You're not confined to a wheelchair. I was confined to um, walking around like I was drunk, and be, I was, I was confined by the fears, the, the inability to walk across an open room, that was a long time ago, I could walk, but I walked on the walls, I still, still resisted getting a cane, still resisted getting a walker, still resisted getting a wheelchair, and when I finally had to deal with those, I realized, wait a second, Instead of having to hold on to the walls, I can actually cut across with a walker. I'm not stuck to the walls. So, okay, that's freedom right there. Um, with a wheelchair, wow, you can go so much faster than you can with a cane or a walker. So, boom, that's freedom there. You know, if the aids are there to bring you freedom, and that's what they can do, and that's what... Um, oh, they're also fashion statements. They are a way that you can showcase your personal preferences of course i have signs we'll get more into that later but um you could you could put signs on the arm of your wheelchair or on my um 
manual wheelchair. I have a bag um, uh, on the walkers. I used to have walker bags um, with canes. You can always duct tape the stuff to give it your own personality, your own sense of style. Um, there are also shopping carts, as previously mentioned. I can take a whole basket full of groceries home. Um, and mobile billboards. I, I firmly believe we are mobile billboards. I think canes, walkers, wheelchairs, all that. Um, they should wrap us like they wrap cars. In the meantime, I think we should be paid. I mean, why not pay someone in a wheelchair to dance around in front of your store instead of paying someone else to get in a costume and do it? Why not pay someone who can sit down? At least, at least we have a seat to sit on. Pay someone with a walker. Hey, you know what, Grandma? You want to make t 10 extra bucks this afternoon? How about you go, you know, interact with strangers? Like, be nice, hang out, talk to people. Like, wheelchairs are billboards. Now, even if advertisers don't recognize this, this amazing opportunity they have to advertise on us, even if advertisers don't, you can use it to advertise the stuff you believe in. You can do the same stuff I do. I have quotes. Wisdom is the reward for surviving our own stupidity. Yeah, um, that's, these, they're things that make me feel good. I have on the back of my wheelchair, caution, stronger than I appear. It helps me feel strong every time I go out. It helps me know that, hey, you know what? I am stronger than I appear. I, I believe that so much that I put a sign on the back of my wheelchair to proclaim it because it's true. Like, I am and um, I have to remind myself so much of that when I'm crying, when I'm, I fell out of my wheelchair and I'm on the floor and I'm crying like, you know, okay, I'm still, I'm stronger than I appear. Like, um, you can do this. Okay, accepting the reality of your situation doesn't mean it controls you. Okay, accepting the reality of your situation. At one point in time, I could walk. Um, I never anticipated being in a wheelchair. I never anticipated. I knew it was a possibility in theory, um, but you know, of course, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be one of the ones. I'm gonna not let this affect me. Sometimes, it's okay to accept the reality of your disability. It's it's actually really really important to accept the reality of your disability to recognize that um yes you aren't it but it is a part of you and it will affect your life and you mind the quicker you accept that and the quicker you come to terms with the fact your life is not over it's by no means over if you get diagnosed with a condition if you have a disability your life it can be just as full or more full like a lot of people say i watch TED Talks all the time, and they, a lot of, um, a lot of people who go through really hard difficulties, like being someone with a disability, um, those are the happiest people, because it can bring out, um, your strength if you let it, um, but it doesn't, it doesn't control you by recognizing that, you can recognize, okay, you know what, this is, Maybe I shouldn't buy that two-story house because, you know, we did. I talked my husband at the time into getting a two-story. Even though I knew, I knew in theory it was possible that I ended up in a wheelchair. Still, I wanted a two-story. Oh, it's okay. It's not going to happen to me. I got this. Hey, you know what? It's okay to accept reality. Like, that doesn't mean you have to give up on all your dreams, it just means they change, your dreams change, I'm sorry, like, maybe, okay, I'm not going to do some of the things I wanted to do, simply because of my condition, like, that's okay, I know there's people that say, oh, push beyond it, anyone can do anything, that's, that's just not true, like, I'm sorry, it's just not true, it's not true for it, there, there are some things you can't do, and it's okay to accept that and to work within it and um, stuff. Okay, um, just because, wait, hold on. Hurrying, hurrying is a luxury. Don't beat yourself up over the amount of time it takes to do things. 
Yeah, exactly, because um, it's taken me an hour at least um, to pee in the morning. It's taken me two hours in the shower. It's taken me like 30 minutes just to get off the bed and get into the chair. Hurrying, the ability to hurry, even if I wake up in the morning and I have a place to be. And I know, I know for a fact, oh, I need to hurry to get there to make it on time. Um, hurrying is still a luxury. Because if my legs are spasming, I can't hurry. I can like sit there and run my arms in place, but I'm not. I'm not hurrying. I'm. I mean, it's a luxury. And don't beat yourself up. Like I don't accomplish as much as a lot of people, but um, that's okay. That's okay. I get done when I get done, and then um, you know that's okay. All right. Just because you can be lazy, grouchy or angry or stay indoors etc doesn't mean you should there's a fine line there is a fine line okay so just because you can be lazy doesn't mean you should so true sometimes I'm late tonight I got tons of stuff I'm not going to be lazy as far as cleaning up the kitchen goes because I don't want ants you got to remind yourself of the reasons why you don't want to be lazy um it also the lazier you are, the more depressed you're going to get because you're not accomplishing anything. You don't have anything to, any purpose, I guess. Um, so just lazy, grouchy, just because some people, it seems like people in wheelchairs a lot are um, either really happy and really nice and friendly and stuff, but then some people are grouchy, and it's not just people in wheelchairs. People no matter what, like, you have a choice. You can either be a grouchy person or you can be a happy person. The choice is yours. It's up to you. Like, um, so what you gonna do? Just because you can be something doesn't mean you should be. And so don't use your disability as an excuse, um, even though, but some days, you know what, some days I don't do anything. And I know it's because I'm being lazy, but my body just needs to be lazy that day and sometimes sometimes it is okay I mean you have to listen to your body you have to just go with what feels good just don't stay there like getting outdoors is so important I have a list of things um, if you guys want in the comments put put that you want the list of of reasons why disabled people should go outside but I have a whole list reasons why pe disabled people should go out because it's so important it's important for the community it's important for you um and so i hope that i don't know like for try to find the balance and all that okay um sock models always have a chair people are nice etc taking advantage of disability yeah because you know what i'm in a wheelchair um that's right because I'm in the perfect sock model. I would usually wear knee highs today. I'm not, like right now I have pajamas on. I just have ankle socks. And so, um, anyway, yeah, we're perfect sock models. We are also, let's see, what else did I put? Um, we always have a chair. Uh, I'm never without a chair at a crowded game or event or whatever. Um, people are nice to me people help me out with a lot of stuff I'm appreciative of that and thankful for it and um so it's okay to take advantage of and to recognize that fact there are good things um you know it's it's okay like my legs don't work for a lot but hey you know what they are perfect sock models because I don't even need to wear shoes because since I'm in a wheelchair then I don't have to have shoes so the whole sock is shown and it's perfect and um, there's many other things that like okay so maybe maybe my hands don't do everything they they should do but still I can I can use them to push stuff over so that's cool you know um, and so you got to take advantage of your disabilities if you can like I mean recognize that okay people stare at me like I think this is a big way I take advantage of my disability People stare at me everywhere I go. So, um, I really embrace that. I love it now. And, um, I dance around town. And I have signs on my chair. I give people a reason to stare. Give people something to look at. 
Um, why not? Because they're going to look anyway. And so I'm taking advantage. I'm letting them see what I want them to see. You know what? You're going to look at me. You know what? I'm going to take advantage of that fact. I'm going to use it to my advantage. I'm going to make you see what you, what you, what I want you to see. Um, and so try to take advantage of your disability. Okay. Um, let's see. Everyone has something. Your stuff probably sucks just like everyone else's does. That has absolutely nothing to do with the opportunity you have every day to make someone else's life suck less. In doing so, your life will also start to suck less. That's, that's my goal. So, okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm getting a headache right now. That sucks. Yeah, like it sucks that I have to clean up the kitchen. You know what? I have the opportunity to make somebody's life better. Even now, like, I can make a YouTube video and reach out to the whole world and say, hey, you know what? Um, it's okay. It's okay to know. Yeah, like, just because um, I recognize that it sucks that I still have dishes to do and stuff, that's not a bad thing. I can, I can, I can accept that that sucks. Um, but I don't have to... I don't have to feel sorry for myself and be like, oh, oh it sucks so much. It sucks so much. I just don't know what to do because my life sucks so much because I have dishes to do, blah, blah, blah. I don't have to do that. I can choose. You can choose. Um, and you have a choice every day to make somebody's life suck less. And that's what I do every day. Every day I know I make people's life suck less. Why? Because I make them a smile. And you know what? Just making somebody smile is a way that you make their life suck less. So, hey, do it. Make somebody smile. Okay, last thing. You never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have. And we, as disabled people, um, are in that place. Being strong is the only choice we have. And so, um, you got this. I got this. We got this. We can do it. And um, here's Hugh. And I'm so glad that um, that you're letting me be part of your journey too. So thanks. And.